If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm false. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Check this out. We have some news coming from Javante Take Davis Camp, man. Some news that we were already hip to. You know, we announced it before, but now it's gaining a little more traction, and it's a little more closer to being finalized, man. That is, Javante Take Davis will be fighting Lamont Roach on December 14th. Yes. 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 Huh? And the reason why I'm excited, not because I'm excited for the particular opponent in Lamont Roach, that's not too intriguing to me. I'm just more happy and relieved that the fight is actually on December 14th as opposed to the other date that was suggested being December 21st. As you know, Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury will be having their rematch on December 21st. So I was very afraid that the fight with Javante Tank Davis will actually be on December 21st as well. And you say, why is that? Well, because even though Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk's fight will be in Riyadh, you know, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, be a part of the Riyadh season card that fight would usually take place around 2 p.m eastern standard time as long i mean as far as the main card goes and it'll last till about 7 p.m so it'll be just in time for me to tune in for the tank and uh the tank and lamont roach card however that means that since we provide live boxing commentary we'll be doing a whole stream all day covering both fights and i've done that before 12 hour streams i'd be <sighs> I'd be asleep. I'm not complaining because I love boxing. But also, in addition to that, is that December 14th gives us another weekend to observe boxing and enjoy boxing. You know, December 14th, then we'll have the festivities that transpire on the 21st as well. So that's great. Now let's talk about Lamont Roach in particular. I know a lot of people, like I said, aren't too excited about this matchup, but they've got to chill, Lil Weaver. Chill, Lil Weaver. Who the fuck you think you talking to? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Just chill a little bit. I think that this is a decent fight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Freddie Roach is a WBA champion. Yeah. And the WBA has granted him a special permission to where he can challenge uh, uh, Tank at 135. Yeah. You know, and in the scenario that he loses, he'll still be able to retain his belt. and have, But he'll just be required to fight uh, 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 the mandatory challenger within 120 days. You know, make that decision within 120 days. You know, which I think is fair. You know, and then um, if he wins, you know, he'll have to make the decision whether he keeps the belt at 135 or goes back down to 130. So um, they, they basically come covered him if he wins or loses i think it's a pretty good deal now as far as the competitiveness of this fight goes you know lamont roach and tank davis have some history in the amateur days and they also have a commonality in a high caliber opponent hector luis garcia in fact hector luis garcia only has two losses and they came to the aforementioned gentleman in gervonta tank davis and lamont roach uh one by way of knockout loss the other one by decision respectively you know what i'm saying um so lamont roach beat um hector garcia by split decision after tank already knocked him out but hector garcia is um former champion himself so that's not too bad so they have some commonalities there and the intrigue is really there you know um uh you know lamont roach versus tank davis i think is a decent fight but those of you that are mad about this fight saying oh well tank is bringing him up and he's not a good opponent well i mean we have to also give javante tank davis and his team credit for trying to bullshit 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 entertain another opponent a more challenging opponent you know in Vasily Lomachenko and also Ryo Valenzuela you know they tried to get those fights but they couldn't secure them so I more so see Lamont Roach as a third or fourth or fifth option you know so that's why I'm not too mad at it but more importantly you know what I'm saying since this was an alternative um, to what they originally wanted we also have to consider this you know for the big guys in boxing outside of anthony joshua anthony joshua he wasn't the champion of dubois was but that was a pretty challenging fight for a high caliber guy you know like anthony joshua javante take davis fighting lamont roach he's a javante take davis is a high caliber guy as well as far as his stature in the in the boxing realm so we expect a lot of them however if you're mad at javante take davis versus lamont roach then you have to be mad at Nadia anyway versus tj dohin <laughs> You know what I'm saying? This is more of a competitive fight than that was. You know, and you say, oh, well, Naya Inouye, he's very active. Well, yeah, so I see this, and that was just a stay active fight, right, for Naya Inouye. Well, this is just a stay active fight for Javante Tank Davis. Oh, and by the way, Lamar Roach is a champion, you know, currently, not a former champion, TJ Doheny. And also, shout out to my boy Cinnamon, he fought Edgar Berlanga, you know, who people were mad at that too well i think that this lamar roach is a higher caliber opponent than edgar belong i'm just saying keep the same energy man if you're going to be mad at gervonta you can go ahead be mad at him for fighting lamar roach but you should also be mad at tj doheny 
get an opportunity to fight Naya anyway, and you should also be mad at Canelo fighting Edgar Berlanga, you know what I'm saying? I just see them all as stay busy fights, and I'm not mad at it either, you know, every fight's not gonna be a historic classic fight, you know, so I, I, I consider this as a pivot, just like I considered TJ Doheny as a pivot for Naya anyway, once the Sam Goodman fight fell through, so I don't think this fight is that bad, I don't think it's that good, you know, contrarily, but I don't think it's that bad, I think people are over-exaggerating, and um, Lamont Roach is moving up, just like, you know, Joe Cordino is moving up to fight Shakur, and but at least Lamont Roach is a champion. And just like with uh, Shakur and Joe Cordina, Shakur was a pivot because William Zapata didn't want to fight him. So, you know, Lamont Roach is a pivot for Gervonta uh, since Lomachenko didn't want to fight him. And others, you know, understandably so. You know, Jose Rayo didn't want to fight him because it would have been a quick turnaround coming off of his win against Isa Pibble Cruz and becoming the champion. So I don't think that this is that bad once you consider the circumstances around the fight. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Are you excited for Lamont Roach versus Tank? Or you want somebody else? And who do you want that's a a, a legitimate uh, a viable, plausible opponent for him instead of Lamont Roach. You can't say Shakur because Shakur's hand is hurt. You can't say Lamont Roach because he doesn't want to, sorry, you can't say uh, Lomachenko because he doesn't want to fight. And you can't say Ryo because he also doesn't want to fight either, understandably so. So I think Lamont Roach is a pretty decent option for what was left of the field, you know, that who are available. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God or nothing. The doctor's out. Y'all know what time it is. Peace! From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets